we are currently in the ATCO's Jandicott site here in Perth, Western Australia. So we commenced our project back in July 2018. The aim of the project, through funding from Marina, is to understand how do we go about generating green hydrogen, the first plant of its kind in Australia? How do we utilize green hydrogen into the gas network that ACCO owns? And the third one is, so how does green hydrogen enter the house and how do the gas appliances perform? ATCO's project is quite unique because what we've done, we've created a microgrid here. So within the Jandicott precinct, we've got a residential home, which is where we're standing right now. We've got a small commercial office area right next to us. We've also got a small industrial area where we're manufacturing some of the key components that we put out in our network. And of course, within this whole area, we've got our own clean energy innovation hub that produces green hydrogen. That hydrogen is now being used to deliver energy to our commercial area, residential area, as well as light industrial area. So effectively, a hydrogen microgrid that is operating at 100% renewable rate. So hydrogen is the alternative form of a fuel source that can be blended with natural gas to further decarbonize natural gas networks. How it works is we're using solar system to generate electricity. All the excess spillover electricity that's not being used, we put through an electrolyzer. What electrolyzer effectively does is uses the electric current that goes through water, and as soon as the current goes through the water, it splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. Oxygen we just release to the atmosphere, hydrogen we store within our site over here. And what we can do with that, we can use the hydrogen at a later stage when it's required to blend through the gas network to further decarbonize the gas itself. The aim of our site over, over here in Jandicott is to understand, well, how can hydrogen play a role in reducing the carbon emissions of the gas grid, as well as how can it further reduce the carbon emissions for a typical household in Australia? So Australia is quite uh, lucky in terms of the resources, the natural resources we have. We are in a prime position to generate clean, renewable hydrogen that can be used domestically within gas networks, industrial customers, commercial customers. But the biggest market for us is to supply renewable hydrogen as a source of energy to Japan and Korea. So Dr. Alan Finkel, the COAG, the WA government and the various different entities around Australia have predicted that this is going to be a multi-billion dollar industry. So we've got a lot of work cut out for us. I'm convinced we're going to get there. What we're creating here today will potentially be another source of energy that our kids and grandkids can utilize in the future.